What if each state in the U.S. played by totally different rules? What if someone who owed you money in one state could move to another state to dish the debt? Or a criminal could escape punishment from one state to be free in another? Article 4 of the Constitution says that we're all part of one country and every state should play by some basic rules. The most fundamental rule in Article 4 is called full faith and credit. This means that states have to treat the records and court rulings of another state just like their own. Some states used to prohibit marriages between people of different races and would not recognize those marriages even if performed out of state. In 1967, the Supreme Court ruled that marriage was a fundamental right and that states could not forbid marriages based on race. A state cannot have different rules for people who live out of state if that affects the rights that all U.S. citizens must share. For example, a state cannot restrict jobs to its own residents that would limit interstate travel. On the other hand, states may require higher out-of-state tuition to public universities for people who do not live there and pay state taxes to support those colleges. A state's governor must also turn over accused criminals who are trying to escape the law in another state. This requirement is called extradition. Before the 13th Amendment outlawed slavery, Article 4 also said that people accused of being runaway slaves had to be delivered to slave catchers from another state and returned to bondage. But many of these people had never been enslaved in the first place and were kidnapped from their homes in free states to become human property in the South. What if a U.S. territory or district wants to become a new state? Under Article 4, Congress decides how new states are added. A new state has not joined the Union since Hawaii in 1959. Do you think Puerto Rico and the District of Columbia should become new states? 